All right, hello. Uh, I'm here today to do an unboxing video of the Eva Solo um, Orchid Pot. I'm doing a video review of this and unboxing because I looked everywhere online for a review for this thing, and I just couldn't find one. My first impression of the box is that, honestly, this, this is the large one, the largest one that they sell. I bought this from touchofmodern.com, and the box is much smaller than I had originally anticipated it being for a large orchid. So, let's open it up. Alright. So I believe that is actually, yeah, that's the base of the thing. You can see about how big it is. I have large hands, but even so, this is not quite as big as I was picturing. But it also lets me know that maybe since that was, oh, okay. Yeah, so the, the bowl is actually, okay. Let's see now. All right, now that we've got it out of the box, and I'm looking at it in person. The bowl is actually a little bit bigger than I had originally imagined it being. Um, it, I see, okay, so this piece is actually packaged as though it's sitting inside here. So even though it's a smaller box, this is actually fairly large. It's larger than I anticipated. Um, I would still say there are gonna be some varieties, especially the more exotic varieties of orchid, that this is probably just not ever gonna work for. Um, but your average Phalaenopsis can probably live its entire adult life in here. The other thing is this pot is unique in that it's designed to help your orchid roots actually get the sunlight that they need. Um, and so it's not really designed for you to place the orchid in there for bark to be in between. Well, anyway, uh, the bark is not meant to cover up the roots on the side. The idea here is that the roots are going to be pressed up against the glass so that they can get the sunlight. So it's okay if this pot fits just a bit snug in some ways. Now my first question is how retentive and how good is this fiber at actually uh, sort of sucking up the water from the bottom? And it's not that hard to get in there, which I was pleasantly surprised about. And it also seems to cover the whole bottom, and you can maybe even weave that fiber uh, up around all of the roots of the plant there. It might be a little difficult to do. Just to give you a good idea of size, here's, I'm a big guy, and so this is my fist inside of this jar. Uh, so, you know, it's not too small, but it's also not too big. I think it is just about right for a full-grown Phalaenopsis orchid. All right, so now to answer the question about the water retention, how good that is at wicking it up. We're going to fill it up with some distilled water here. Okay. Now I'm going to give this a test. It is a little odd to set it on there. Okay. So now that I've set my wick down in there, you know, I can actually already feel the water coming up from the base here. So that little thing is actually very good at working it up. I mean, that was pretty quick. I can feel it slowly starting to spread throughout the fibers. It is, I don't know if you can see it. The center is getting just a little bit moist. Um, and yep, I can feel it going up this way. Okay, so this works. This actually does work. And they're nylon, so they're not gonna rot, you know, like say sphagnum moss or anything like that over time. Um, so this works. Now with that said, I had still read bad reviews of this thing, but I also read other reviews that said they were great, so I wasn't sure what was going on. I think what's going on here is that people just don't know how to use these pots, and unfortunately they don't come with great instructions. So the misconception is that you'll just be able to set this up, set it on here, and that will be able to uh, permanently water your orchid. You won't have to do anything else with it. That is not true. Um, what you'll need to do is once you get your orchid from the store, you'll still need to pull out all of the moss or anything that was in the media that you bought it with. 
And then you're going to need to get some good coconut bark and maybe a little bit of sphagnum moss mix. Um, or just good orchid bark, um, good orchid bark, or even coconut, because coconut is slightly absorbent. And repot it in this with that media. And then you will still need to water this from the top down. The whole reason that this comes with a transparent glass vase uh, bottom is so that you can see how much water is leaking down into this vessel on the bottom so that you don't overflow it. The purpose of this is not to just fill this up, set the thing on here, and let it do its job. The purpose of this is you water it once and you can go a very long time without watering, but you still have to make sure that those roots do not completely dry out. Um, you can still remove this obviously, but the purpose of that is to make sure that you can clean this glass if you need to, and that mold and other things are not developing down here. Let's take a look back at our fibers. And I can see now that these are very, very moist. And so th there's no doubt in my mind that this will work. Um, but I think you need to use the right media. And I think that you will need uh, to water from the top and still do basic research on orchid care and care for your orchid properly. And definitely, I think the biggest thing here is, based on the reviews I read, don't just buy an orchid and pull it straight out of the pot and stuff it in here uh, because it will die. You're going to have to repot it in good orchid mix <laughs> and still figure out how to use this pot correctly. Um, but this has been a review of the Eva Solo uh, Orchid Pot. It is also recommended for bonsai trees. However, I'm not sure how confident I would be in that simply because a bonsai needs the ability to have its roots completely drain and dry out. And the whole purpose of this pot is really that it's constantly wicking moisture up to the roots as it's needed. So I would not have the most confidence in using this as a bonsai pot, um, but as far as its original intended use as um, an orchid growing pot, I think with the right care, this is gonna be wonderful. All right, thank you.